At the Farm Progress Show, it wasn't just Case IH that had new combine announcements. New Holland also shared the launch of their CR10 combine, as you can see here right in the center of the frame of this picture. At the New Holland booth, I talked to my friend Ryan Schaefer. Ryan is the vice president of New Holland here in North America. And we had a great conversation talking about the launch of the CR11. If you remember, that was the first one that got launched. That was at Agritechnica last year. That's the same exact combine as the twin rotor AF11 from Case IH. In our conversations, I told Ryan, I said, I got to run one of these <laughs> twin rotors this fall. And he said, I'll make that happen, Chad. So I got a phone call and had the opportunity to run up to Northern Illinois, uh, big thanks to Ryan and all his team for making that happen and had the opportunity to get around this new AF-11 in the field. And let me tell you, this is a massive combine. Now, again, it's a little confusing understanding the model mixes here. Case IH has got the AF-9 and 10, and then you go to the AF-11. And from the Case IH side, it is the same combine as the one you see right here. The twin rotor combine, again, they've been doing this at New Holland for over 50 years. They're kind of the twin rotor experts. There's some other twin rotors out there now, but this machine here, I just got to tell you, it's special. Now, comparing it to the AF-10, it has the same engine driveline cleaning. The difference is, obviously, it's got twin rotors. Now, as you can tell also, this one has tracks. The nice part is about C&H this fall, whether the combine's red or yellow, their field team is out with the combines, making sure that that experience is very good for both the dealer and the farmers that are using it. And speaking of farmers, you can see Aaron Book right here. We're talking to with the New Holland folks. I had an opportunity to talk to Aaron about his experience with the combine. We've done a lot of talk about combines here over the last few weeks on This Week in Agribusiness. And for those of you that use New Holland combines, I couldn't leave out the CR11. I found one running in Northern Illinois on the Book Farms up around the Dixon area. Aaron, talk a little bit about the experience. You've had the combine on your farm for a few days. What's it like? Yeah, that's a great combine. It, it combines a lot of corn and it's short of my time. It's about an unlimited amount of speed. You combine six, seven mile an hour, 250 bushel corn. I mean, you, you can't get enough trucks, like you, as you can see in the background here, you can't get enough trucks around here to, to keep the corn away. That's probably the biggest concern of that combine. You're, you're combining so much corn, it's, just keeping that corn away from the combine there. You know, you and I were talking before the interview here with some of the folks from New Holland. It's kind of interesting now how equipment buying is different. Meaning, I think manufacturers from all colors are starting to listen a little bit more to guys like yourself, and I think this is a good example of it. Yeah, yeah absolutely, absolutely. As we were talking about before, the price point and what guys can buy this to, if, if we can reduce machines, if you get bigger machines by reducing it, that's the direction we would love to go to. And well, I noticed your combine's parked yeah, here in the background. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Again, trying to keep that corn away, right? So <laughs> keep, keep that new Holland machine running. Yeah, absolutely. What uh, what other features of the combine were you impressed with? I know when I was around it, I was Im impressed with the simplicity. A little, uh, It seemed like easier to work on. What got your attention? Yeah, the, the cleaning capacity, right? So us farmers have been asking for quite a while can we get bigger cleaning capacity so you've got other equipment out in the market player you're running planters at eight nine ten mile an hour combines and my brother and i have said this for a while it's been three and a half to four mile an hour for how many years in a row now is can we go faster in combines and that's our main restraint is being able to harvest get harvest done a little quicker because as you know the weather changes pretty quickly so well, can, can we get that done? You know, one thing I noticed running these combines, this next generation from CNH is just the grain quality. I mean, you push these combines hard, typically in the past we're throwing grain out the back or we're giving up sample. That's one of the things that's really impressed me is the, the quality of the grain sample, don't you think? The, the quality is, 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 is second to none. And, and, and that's what I'll say about deer is that the sample isn't there. Right. And we have said that for many years is is we're not pushing, we don't want to push the corn out the bag. You want to keep that all the corn you can, but then you sacrifice that sample here. Here in this new Holland, boy, it's a clean sample. I mean, you know, it's so fun because like you, myself, been around combines, well, since we can remember. 
It's kind of neat seeing equipment take that next leap. And maybe, just maybe, some of the innovation in this machine that you had out on your farm might be that next wave of technology. And we know what happens once it's in one machine, it all of a sudden becomes in other machines in the near future. It, it does, it does. And like I said, I love the cleaning capacity on this new Holland machine. I mean, you open the back there and just look to see the length of how, how big those sieves are, the, the top sieve and the bottom sieve, and, and how much corn it can take in. We all know we had, here in Northern Illinois, we had great yields up here, record yields up here, and the yields are just getting bigger, right? right. And so these machines got to keep getting bigger right. so that we can maintain or even go faster harvesting this. Well, and it's logistics, like you said. You said you had nine trucks moving grain out of here. You got one combine parked because you've, you've got plenty of capacity in the field because you got a guest combine joining you. But the reality is, you still got to move from field to field. You got to have employees to run it, all those things. And, and my thoughts is if you guys could somehow get from four combines to two, you're winning. That's exactly what we want. I mean, that's right. I mean, maybe maybe those employees are driving semis now. Right. Okay, fine. Right. But it still makes it easier. It does. It's, it's less to move. It's less to fuel. It's less to maintain. Where do we stop? I mean, all of that would be welcome on any farm. Yeah, when I'm managing all these employees, it's just a couple less you have, a couple, you know, you got moving parts in every machine, right? right. So if you're going from four to two, it's half the machines that you got to maintain to be able to do that. Well, and you know, I remember when I was a kid, I'm a little bit older than you, but it was a big deal when we got our first cell phone. And I remember arguing my, with my dad about a yield monitor. And I remember having heated discussions with my dad that dad we we may want to put front wheel assist on our tractors now because the reports from nebraska test this works well well now you can't buy a tractor without auto steer you know new john deere tractors are coming out with internet built in right with yep, starlink yeah yep. my thing is we thought planners going fast was crazy i'll guarantee you your dad or brother or whomever thought oh we're not planting at 10 mile an hour or eight well yeah we are and i'd argue that some of the technology in that combine you had here to get throughput of seven or eight thousand bushel an hour that's real it is real yeah, and, that is and real. that changes the game here it still blows my dad's mind i remember when we got the high speed planter five years ago <laughs> and i was playing at nine mile an hour and he said you need to slow down a little bit and then i was watching him on on, on the app and he was going six mile an hour with <laughs> normal speed yeah. and i said you got to speed that up a little bit and you can just watch that simulation at 99 percent right that's awesome and it's great to see that we're starting to get there from the combine standpoint, that we're not going four mile an hour, that maybe we can go five mile an hour at, at great corn, at record corn, right. your record yields, and still well, get Well, it's the same in. thing, right? Maybe maybe 16 row heads sound crazy, but, but you know what? There's several manufacturers that make folding 16 row heads. Okay, that's a thing. Yeah. Well. Is it nuts to think that this field right here, which is a massive field, by the way, looks awesome? You know, a 24 row head would work great in here. Yeah. It now would. you got to move it down the road, and you got to get it in the field entrance. I mean, there's a lot of challenges with that bigger stuff, but the reality is, it's hard telling what's in this field in five years. Yeah. If you and is. I are being honest. It is. It you is. Know? And you know, I mean, 24 row planter, right? High speed that matches up with a 24 row corn <laughs> head, right? So you could get that thing to fold up and move down the road. And I'm sure some engineers are starting to work on that. Well, right or now. even even dare I say it? What about quick disconnect? Yeah. Come on. Right. There's there's no right. one going to convince me that they couldn't make it so you pull onto the head and you raise it up and it locks all the stuff in. Yeah. They do it. They do it now. They do. So yeah. so to me, I think. I think some engineering could be in other places that maybe you and I aren't even thinking about out here in the field. Yeah. But the reality is, it always comes. It always comes fast, but it adopts slow. Right. You know what right. I mean? Right. So remember, I would almost guarantee if you sat with your family and you talked about, okay, if we have a combine and it can do 9,000 bushel an hour, what are we going to do? Because that changes things here. It changes things, and it changes every logistic. We have a a, a grain elevator, right? And so. You know, the conveyors, the dryer, everything is tied to it. So you may have the trucks, right. but then can you dump it in time? Can you dry that in, in time? And there, there, there's always a bottleneck. Well, and I think the thing too is, and I tell guys this all the time, and to be honest with you, I'm sure some look at me crazy, but it's how many bushels a day can you handle? And I am not talking about harvesting it. Right. I mean, unfortunately, you got three machines out here parked now waiting for trucks. But the reality is, 
you're only going to create so many scale tickets in a day. Right. And if your operation is set for 85,000 bushel, well, then you back into how many combines do I need right. to get 85. It's not the other way around. Right. And you got to have a good goal. Hey, listen, maybe we don't need nine trucks. Maybe we need 12. Or, or to be honest with you, maybe we need six. Right. It depends on your operation right. and how many bushels you want to do. Right. You know? Right. But right. Um, I just wanted to get your opinion on the combine. I uh, I think it's neat. Local dealer brought it out here for you guys yeah, to use. Yeah. Who, who is the dealer? P Buddies from Sterling. Good. So right here close. Yeah. They've been right around here for a close. Long time. Yeah. So they have. Yeah. I know he's from from a long time ago back in college. So very good yeah, guy. Yeah. We so. have a spray over his. So we, we've had good luck with that also. Yeah. That that's awesome. Spray. Well, yeah. I appreciate you taking a little time. It's. Uh, we got some great footage of the combine running, and hey, listen, anything you can do right now to hurry up and get harvest done, you got to be getting close. Yeah, yeah, we're within a week or so now, yeah, there you so go. that's a good feeling. <laughs> I think more, more, more for my wife, probably. <laughs> I appreciate Aaron taking some time to have a frank conversation about his harvest experience with the New Holland Combine, and just in general. I think the real conversation boils down to the reality, and the reality is there's a lot of farmers now with multiple combines. And you can't go from two to one unless you know the capacity is there. And I think everybody, when you start looking at your individual operation, it depends on what? Your grain dryer. It depends on your trucking scenario. How far do you have to haul it? I could go on and on and on. But the reality is, if you've got two great Class 8 combines at home that are doing 4,000 bushel an hour, you're not going to consider going to one if it'll only do 7,000. You've got to make sure it'll do eight or 9,000 bushel an hour to even put it in the conversation. And I appreciate uh, Aaron and his brother talking with me about it today and Ryan Schaefer at New Holland that arranged this. If you got any questions, write them down below in the comments. We'll do our best. But my biggest advice, go see your dealer. These combines are heading north. There's still opportunities to see them firsthand. Thanks for watching, guys. Be safe and God bless.